Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's Naruto here. No, it's Jason. We out here. It's Halloween week. So you know I had to bust out this Naruto outfit. Shout out to any anime fans out there. Let me know what you wearing for Halloween. What you going as? Alright, so in this... Let's get into the video. So in this video, it's going to be a little mini series. I wanted to go over building the Instagram feed using collection views. And using the composition collection view. And give me a second, I'm going to pull up right now the project, and I'm going to show you guys what we're building. Alright y'all, so this is the what we're building. This is an Instagram app. This is, all, this is all just the UI. I didn't... <laughs> building out the whole app, that would be crazy. But yeah, we're just setting up the UI, and I haven't... I didn't... We're not setting up any actions, which... It'll be fairly simple. You'll probably have to use uh, maybe some protocol and delegates to set up some actions. And yeah, this is all done using the collection view. Like this is all one huge collection view. And it's, it was a little tricky at first, but we were able to get it through. Like you see here, we have the stories and I don't have the username under these because I didn't want to, I didn't configure them all the way. You guys can do that in, uh, in your project if you want. And yeah, so let's get into it. Any notes? Nope. Shout out to Rocky. <laughs> Shout out to Rocky. All right. So let's get into it. All right, so let's create a new project. Call this Instagram feed. And we're only building, so, so what are we doing in this project? We're just gonna build out the UI for the Instagram home feed. I felt like that'd be a fun challenge for me to do, and now I'm sharing it with you guys. And yeah, we're using UI kit. We're doing this all programmatically. Let's get into it. All right, create. And since we're you we're doing this programmatically, we gotta kill the storyboards. Hit it with a Rasen guy. Shout out to enemy fans. <laughs> right, we got we got we gotta get it out of here. Get out of here. Oh, it's right here. All right, let's hit main again, and then get out of here. And our project's clear of main, but now we gotta go to scene delegate and set everything up. So, boom, boom, boom. boom. Oh, window scene, uh, let window equal UI window for window scene. This is pretty straightforward. I have, I have a video on this if you guys haven't seen this before, but this is how you build out the app without the storyboards programmatically, as they say. Move your controller, let's just set this equal to view controller. And self dot window equal window. All right. And we'll go in here and we'll just change the background to sys, wait, no, view dot background to system red. I should have done orange for Naruto, but oh well. Bam. There we go. So now let's get into this. Let's get into the what everyone is here for. What is everyone here for? <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So we got to create a collection view and we actually need to, we're going to create it. We're going to instantiate it here at the top, but, but we're not going to code it out. We're just going to, we're going to tell the view controller that, oh, it has to have one. We're going to force it here, but, so, we're really, so what am I trying to say? So we're going to set it up like this. And what this is going to do is we need to make sure we declare it or set it in our view control. Otherwise, we're going to have this. We're going to get nil in this collection view and it's going to crash your app. So let's create this configure collection view function. And this is the way we want to do it because... We're gonna have multiple flow layout, low, uh, flow layouts. As you guys saw, we need to scroll vertically and we need to scroll horizontally for the, what do you call it? The stories is horizontal and the feed is vertical. So in order to get that behavior, we actually need to do it like this. So, all right, let's create this function. So in here, we're gonna create our, our another collection view. And this collection view, we're gonna assign it to the global one or the, the main one in this view controller. UI collection view with a frame. And since this is 
you can just do frame dot bounds view dot bounds here because all we're having in our view controller is the collection because it's going to store the the instagram header part the stories and the feed itself it goes so we're here we're going to create a we're going to create flow layout we're going to call a function private funk create flow layout and this needs to return a UI collection view layout, I believe. Yeah. Yep. And then we're going to get an error there. That's fine. All right. So what do you want to do with this? We want to add this collection view to the, the view, the sub view. Wait, add the collection view as a sub view. <laughs> add it. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else do we need to do? We need to uh, we need to set the delegate collection view dot data source equal to self. And I'm gonna do a few things right now. I'm gonna set the um, collection view dot. I think it's like shows vertical scroll indicator. I'm gonna set both of these to false because it just it doesn't look natural, especially at least on the uh, Instagram feed. They don't have any scroll bars. <laughs> So we're gonna get rid of that. And at the bottom here, we're gonna do collection view equals this collection view here. Self dot collection view equals this one here. And let me see, anything else that we need? Oh, we need to register a cell. But before we do that, let's conform to these protocols. UI collection view delegate and UI collection view. Oh, I did this wrong. Don't worry, yeah, I'm gonna fix it data source and you need to do view controller here view controller ah. there we go sorry about that you know I don't know <laughs> let me get let me get some kombucha ah, busy <laughs> you remember those Pepsi commercials please don't drink Carbonated sugar water. I should do what you want. Don't listen to me. All right, so we're just gonna put 10 here. Number of items in section. And this is the part where, we, where we're gonna use the cells to register. So let's register our cells. We're just gonna, for now, we're gonna set up very basic, well not basic, like just the default collection view cells. Oh. I need to put cell and we're going to name this cell and actually we need to register. We're going to register three default ones because we're going to have three sections. Remember the header stories feed. Remember that. So we'll call this, we'll call this header story. We'll just call it story instead of stories just to make it simpler and then feed. All right, so, hmm, hmm, how are we gonna go about this? So, if the index path, so in our app, what we need to do is, oh, it's the wrong one, this one. <laughs> All right, so in this app, the first and the second section is devoted to stories and the, and the Instagram logo and the stuff. Basically the header. Those two sections are gonna stay like that forever in this in the home feed. And the rest is all uh, posts, right? Posts from people. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the index path dot section equals zero. And for this one, we're gonna uh, we're gonna look for the header. Or yeah, we're gonna uh, DQ the header. DQ your reusable cell. The identifier here is header. And then index path, we return cell. All right, and I'm gonna copy and paste this here. <laughs> I'm gonna put else, copy and paste. And you wanna change this to one and change this to story, All right? And then now we have another else, copy and paste again. Actually, no, wait, you just need to put else. And in here, I'm just gonna copy this part and put this in here. And this is gonna be for the feed. 
because like I said in this, this um, my explanation here, the first one, which is zero, is always the header. The second one is always the stories. Rocky, what are you doing? All right, where was I? So yeah, the first one, which is index section zero, is always the header. The second one, which is index section one, is the stories. And that's why we register these specific cells. And now we have to go to this create flow layout. And in here, we need to go to layout. We're going to instantiate a layout. And this is going to be a UI collection view layout. I think it's compositional layout with a section provider. And we, let me go back actually. Give me a second. All right, and we want to use a, a UI collection view composition, comp, compositional layout. And which one are we going to use? We need the section provider because the section is just for one section. And the, yeah, be, these are just for one section. The section provider allows us to have multiple sections. And we don't want the configuration. We'll just use like the default one that they give us. And then you hit enter and you get this. And then this is the section index. Oh, and this is the layout environment. And I don't, I don't think we use this, but all right. So now we're going to do if section index equals zero, you want to do something else. If section index equals one, you want to do something. And these are for the three sections that we have, right? Our three main sections. And in here we need to return, let's see. All right, here we'll return. Here we'll return layout. All right. All right, in these sections we want to, um, we want to return a UI collection what is it? It's a, a layout section for each of these. So what I'm going to do is, because you could lay it out here in, in, this, in this function, but it's going to get very big and very ugly. So we're going to create a header, header layout. We're just going to call it that. And what we'll do is we'll create a private funk called create, uh, create header layout. And this is returning an NS layout, NS collection layout section. No, not optional. And, da, 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 da. and now we can kind of copy and paste this because we're going to need this three times for create. What are we creating now? Story. Story layout. All right, and then the last one, we're going to create a feed layout. Ooh. All right. And in here, we're going to create our NS collection view uh, layouts. Sorry. Yeah, we're going to create our collection view uh, layouts section, actually. And this is... If you guys haven't worked with Collection View, I urge you guys to kind of learn more and like do some research on it. I'll try to provide some links and stuff because they're super powerful and they're really fun to play with actually. Like once you get the hang of it, you're like, huh, I can make some pretty cool dynamically looking uh, things, right? And what do we need first? We need an item and then in, from the item you get, what do you get from the item? Then you get a group. And then from the group, you get a section. All right, that's how that's how the layout works for the uh, compositional or for the collection view. And here in the item, let's see. So let what are we calling this the header item? Equal ns collection view collection layout item. Layout size supplementary items. We just want layout size. 
And we can actually create a variable up here called header, or we'll just call this item size. This would be an NS collection layout size with width and dimension. And you'll, for all of these, you have to create the width and the height for each item. This header only has one item because we're just creating one header. You're not going to be able to scroll or anything. The story, though, it's going to have as many items as you want, right? Because you're going to have to scroll and see the stories of all the people you follow. And for there, that's where the, the width and the height will be very important because you have to, you have to create it to, um, to look good, basically. You have to match the size and everything. Fractional width for width dimension. And this is the header, so we do one, takes up the whole screen. And the height, we can do like 100 for now. And then we'll do item size. And then let group. Wait, let header group. NS collection group. Oh, no. NS collection layout group. Layout size. Let me put this. Oh, wait. Yeah, you need to do um, you need to do it. NS collection layout group. And then typically you want to put whether it's vertical or horizontal. I'm going to do horizontal and use this one. But since this is for a header and it's not going to scroll, it doesn't matter which one you use. And actually, this is a typo here. I need to put dot absolute 100. Sorry. Sorry about that. If you saw that error, shout out to you. You smart. <laughs> you beautiful. All right. Um, now we need to do the, the group size. Let group size and this collection layout size all right and for this one again we want the fractional because this fractional will give you a fraction of the width of the screen and we want to take up the whole one so we do fractional and then put one and then the height we'll do absolute again and put a uh, hundred in here, we have the same height, the same size, basically, for the item and the group because we just want one item in the group because it's just for the header, right? And, all right, so then we'll do group size here, and then what item do we want? This is the item because typically what all this NS layout stuff gives us is the ability to create an item and have it repeat X amount of times in your collection view. All right, so we do header item and then just repeat it once. And then we create the header section and as collection layout section with group and you just put in the header group and you can return header section. And that's fairly straightforward, right? And I'm going to and that's what we have to do for all three of these. And now, I'm, sometimes I don't do the item size, sometimes I do, but I, I think it probably looks cleaner, right? If you, um, if you incorporate the item size, layout size. All right, so what about this, the story? So for the story, you have those little circles, right? <laughs> so we actually want to, we want to have the items have 64.64. Dot 64. 64. That's the size we want each of these items to have in the for the story. All right, story item. You go NS collection item layout size item size. Let group. Size equal NS collection layout size. So we want the width of this to be one because the story is it takes up the whole screen, right? And now the height is going to be different because we want we want like some cushion for the the stories, right? So let's do like 80. I would go for 100, but I feel like that's going to give us too much cushion. 
So I'm gonna do 80 for now and then let, let, oh wait, this is not, wait, oh. I forgot to create the group. Uh, let story group equal NS collection layout group, layout size. What do we want? Let me just do group and then, oh wait, I forget. <laughs> and we want this to be horizontal because we're horizontally scrolling. And, and in this one, we're using repeating sub items. In the feed, you actually notice we'll, we'll do a little something a little different because the size of things will change. But in the stories, all the circles are the same size. So repeating items is a story item and then one. You have multiple of these but that'll be stamped out in our number of items per section uh, function for the collection view, which actually right here in this part, we'll, we'll stamp that out. How many little story circles we'll get. So let story section for group. And this one, this part is easy. And I think I spelled story wrong here. Stroy, story group. All right, story group, and then we return story section. All right, almost done, almost done. Last one, last one. And should we be lazy and copy and paste? No, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not do that. All right, let's do it, but we're gonna clean up. We're gonna clean up, we're gonna clean up, I promise. So we'll get rid of this, because we'll just use the size, and we'll call this, um, what is this? Feed item. Oh, this is very different actually. <laughs> so we're not gonna. Yep, that was a waste of a copy and paste. Because here we run into a new, um, a new um, way, right? Because this, what we needed to create, we need to create an item for each of these. So this is one, two, three. So let me write one, two. Three, four, five. So I basically have an item for let post header item equal NS collection layout item with the layout size. All right. Let me copy and paste this five times. All right. Another one is a. Uh, Post image item. Another one is a post action item. And the other one is a post caption item. And if you notice in this project, we're not going to have the, the like tells you how many likes because we, we, we got rid of that, right? No one cares how many people liked it. You just put it out there to put it out there, right? <laughs> but actually, yeah, like. It's a lot easier without the, having the like section there. So we're not doing that for this project. And then we need the comment section, comment section item. And now we need a layout of size for all of these. And this collection layout size. All of these are gonna have a fractional width of one, to be honest. So I can actually copy and paste this. Be careful with the copy and paste here. It's actually very dangerous because you can mess up here easily. Just copy and paste this. Everything is, yeah, everything is, uh, what do you call it? Everything is one width. The only difference is the height. So, all right, let me see. Oh, <laughs> my bad, yeah. The camera stopped or turned off kind of. Um. All right, so yeah, be careful when you copy and paste it here. And then, so now we need the width. This one we'll do 100 for now. This one we're actually gonna do fractional, fractional width. You wanna do fractional width equals one. And that's because this image here is a square on IG. It's a one by one square. And oh, it's absolute dot 100, sorry, I forget. When you wanna do a, I forget to put it like that. All right, and then this is also absolute 100. Cause this is the actions I'm pointing at it. Like you guys can see, but this is the actions here. <laughs> That's me. I pointed at it. Like you guys could see. 
All right, and for the one below that, we'll do absolute. We'll do 100 again. Or actually, we might want to do less. I'm going to check my notes right now after this. This one, we'll do 100 again. Let me see my notes. What do I have for this? Ah, we actually want to do 50. Oh, yeah, we want to do 50 for all of these, not 100. Yeah, we're going to come out huge. And this one, 35. And also for our post caption, we're keeping it at one line because y'all don't have, y'all don't need that much to say. <laughs> All right. And this is where it gets a little, uh, not, I mean, it doesn't get a little interesting. This is where you can really see the power, the power of, uh, of the NS collection layout, uh, composition of you and all that stuff. Because we're going to create a layout group dot, this time vertical. And you want to do with sub items because these items are all different. And make note of that. Yep. Because remember we were using repeating items because you were just the same one. But this one is a little different. So NS collection layout size. And what do we want for the width? You know, you always want uh, the whole thing for this uh, for this feed. Because every item case up the whole screen in terms of width. And for height dimension, I just put estimated uh, 500 and that gives you some leeway because you won't, depending on the phone you use, you won't know how much it actually is. So this gives us some flexibility. And then here in the sub items, you want to just add all of these posts, header, post image, post action, post caption, post comment section item. And then we want to create our section. Let feed section equal NS collection layout section with the feed group. And we're going to return feed section. Build this here. And it succeeded. And. We're almost ready to run a project. I noticed we haven't ran it at all, right? So this thing might blow up in my face, right? But actually, let's let's run this. So, huh? We'll do cell dot background color equals dot. We'll do cayenne cell dot background color equals to green. For this cell dot background color equals to brown. What an ugly color. Not really, but I feel like on this app it's gonna look weird. You don't see brown that much on the application. Oh. And the whole section takes up cayenne. What does that mean? Ha! I remember something now. We actually have two. And for one of these, actually, I think for the, we can do it for this one. We need the uh, orthogonal scrolling behavior equal to true because otherwise it's not going to allow us to scroll both vertically and wait, horizontally and vertically and on our collection view. Oh, oh, it's not true. Sorry. You want to send this to continuous. I'm sorry. <laughs> What, a, what the heck? All right, so it's, but now everything is cayenne. Why is everything cayenne? Why is everything cayenne? Hmm. All right, number, oh, we didn't, we haven't specified the number of sections in here. Number of items in each section. Ah, this is also something we need to stamp out before. If section, this equals zero. We want something else, else if, but we're gonna stick like this just to keep it uniform since we're already using it this way, else. 
so because in here we need to return one we need to return one and we need to return we can return like 10 actually no wait we can't we number of items in section wait this one you need one this one can be a variable actually and this one can be wait this I might, I might be confusing myself. Let me run this actually really quickly. Ah. Oh, look at that. Oh, each item. Oh, let's see. Group size. Wait, let me change this group size to... Well, let me change this group size to 80. Ah, there we go. And if you want to see a little cool trick, cell dot visit corner radius. No corner radius. So this is go to 32. And you get some nice little circles. Haha. -ha! And that's basically what I did here. And yeah, that's our Instagram section, and and if you guys want to see something else, what is it? Index path dot row. This is gonna take me a second, so give me a second. We have to stamp out the index path for all of these. Basic. Let me copy and paste this. One, one, two, three, four. All right. Or we want to get rid of this. All right, so what we want to do here is we're going to move this all the way to underneath these if statements. And we're going to change the background color of each of these. We can do dot red. So background. What's a, let's do blue. So background color. Can we get magenta? Does anybody say magenta? Cell color, background color. Ah. What's another interesting color? Orange. Shout out Naruto. Or Naruto. Ha! And now you see it's coming along, right? Because we're supposed to put our Instagram feed, our Instagram logo here. We're supposed to put the story images here, the header, the image. The actions, the post caption, and the post comment section. And yeah, and oh, what, what is this black part? Hmm. Wait, let me just do. Let's do one here and see what that is. All right, so let's return five. Let's do seven. That should give us just one post. Never mind, let's do three. <laughs> there we go. That gives us just one post. And we're going to stop here for now. We just set up basically the collection view. In the second part, I'm going to, we have to create, what do we have to do? We have to create custom images. We have to create a custom view here, a custom collection view. Sorry about that. For all of these, actually. Yeah. We have to create a custom collection view and we have to register them. Um, for all of these, to be honest, except for maybe this one, but the best way would be to, to do it like that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. Stay tuned for the next one. Y'all have a good day. Enjoy your Halloween. Spooky. Shout out to Naruto. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Peace. I'm riding between it all in this perfect place. I'm a beast.